child, child lock. locks, child safety. Oh, well, we... oh! oh, it's an open and then it's a slide. Hi, Hi friends. friends, welcome to That High Couple, where we explore and discuss our passion for cannabis. Coming at you with another versus video. Today we are looking at THC infused beer versus seltzer. Edible drinks are something that we don't explore enough on this channel, even though there is a lot of benefits for why you should be considering drinking your THC versus just eating it or even smoking it. But we're excited to explore two different Southern California brands. That Start with the seltzer or tonic. This is going to be the, the white claw of the group here. Yeah, um, I, that's exactly what I thought too. Yeah, this is can. Can. Cannabis in a can. Cannabis infused social tonic is what hey. it's, it's on the can. It's flavored grapefruit and rosemary. This isn't like mucho mango madness. A little bit more like highball and fancies. Probably prefer a mucho mango. I'm not too big on the, the herb flavors. It's also, it's tonic water. So it's not really like it's going to be that strong. No, it's not going to be as strong as this child lock. There Just got go. this like plastic ring. First crack. Bam. Ooh. So this is infused with two milligrams of THC and four milligrams of CBD. Take a six pack of this to the beach and chill out. Okay, thoughts are. It's not nearly as hurtful as I feel like a sip of White Claw is. <laughs> they tend to be a lot more like Sprite, where it's almost like a bite to it. This one's pretty smooth. Okay. All things considered. Actually, yeah, I thought that I really was not going to like that. I don't know if I love it, but, but it's not as bad as I thought that it was going to be. Do you taste the weed in it? No, like, not what, there's no cannabis flavor whatsoever. It really does just feel almost like a chilled tea or something. It's not like so fizzy, like a kind of a Coca-Cola, but it does have a nice little like There's bubbly. a couple of bubbles in it. Before I get too deep into that can, cause uh, right? it's pretty tasty. We have another one to sample. Hey. Versus. We are moving on to Lagunitas Hi-Fi Hops. This has been around, I believe a little bit longer than can, or at least we have tried this before. Before. We've come yes. across this at a couple of different events. Mm -hmm. They've partnered with Absolute Extracts, I know, to do their infusing, and we're definitely big fans of their concentrates. Hi Fi Hops is a sparkling hop water. It tastes like beer. There is no actual alcohol in it. There's no alcohol in this either. They are only THC infused. You can also get it in bottle form. Hey. And they even have two other variations. This is their kind of pure THC. 10 milligrams in each can and bottle is really not even that high. And then she also has. Or CBD. CBD, THC blend. It's a blend, exactly. It's more like like this one here. Right, five, five milligrams. milligrams and five. And then I know they also have just a pure CBD version of this like same kind of beverage. Child, child lock, locks, child safety. Technical difficulties. Dun 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 mm -hmm. dun. dun. Well, we've... Oh! oh! It's an open, and then it's a slide. It does smell hoppy. It smells like beer. You know what? Ladies first. Let's okay, go. let's let's do it. Mm, yeah, you really it really does smell like a beer. Kind of has that hoppiness to it. I'm I am not a beer drinker. Not a beer drinker. But I think if you did like beer, I think you would like it. I'm much more of a wine drinker. There you go. <laughs> if, we're, if we're being honest, very light. It's, it's not it's, an IPA. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's 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 light and hoppy. And they really want you to kind of make a day out of like cracking a couple of cans in the same way that you would beer. And I think the number one benefit to all of these is the fact that you're not going to wake up with a hangover. Exactly. It's amazing. Even in comparison to consuming other edibles, drinks will actually uh, hit you a little bit quicker because you're not waiting for any kind of solids to be digesting in your stomach. It'll also be a good introduction to anyone who yes. is a bit of a novice cannabis user. They might be a little bit intimidated. Lighting anything with a pipe or a bong, these are an easy way that is something familiar if they already mm -hmm. drink beer. It's not gonna get you drunk, but it will get you high. Probably my favorite stealth way to stay high, maybe around family members, because <laughs> this in a solo cup looks just like like any other beer. Right, you put a koozie on that, nobody knows what you're drinking at the barbecue. The summer outdoors thing, like yes. Beer pong. But, oh yeah, like I'm playing games with this. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like I like the flavor of this a little better. With both of them, almost like zero carbs, gluten-free. Be on the lookout for both of these next time you're in the dispensary. Hit this button in the corner to subscribe, subscribe so you don't miss a video. Right over there. Join our Patreon club by clicking right over here in right the corner. Right in the middle. And of course, thank you so much for watching everyone. Sending good vibes. Ooh.